Hello YouTube, Rob here. Uh, just a quick video on uh, starting chemical fires with this uh, potassium permanganate and vegetable glycerin. Uh, now, there's a lot of videos on this. Almost every channel's got a uh, video on this. But, yeah, after experimenting with it, we found that uh, sometimes it takes a long time for this reaction to happen. And uh, I don't know if it's just because this potassium is so old. It's been sitting in a storage for years and years and years or what, but uh, sometimes this reaction will take 30 minutes or longer or just won't happen at all, which is bizarre. Sometimes on the videos on YouTube, it happens damn near instantly. And uh, found out that um, if you add in a drop of water to this mixture, it will accelerate the effect. I don't think the water is the catalyst. I don't know if it's oxidizing the uh, potassium permanganate faster or what. But if I just lift it like this, it could take a long time to go. But if I add a uh, one drop of water, just a couple drops of water into it, then we'll see the reaction almost immediately. And uh, you can hear it sizzling already. The water just makes it happen instantly. And you've got that big flame. Hopefully that's enough to get going there. Nice. Could hear the reaction just now stopped. So we had probably six seconds, eight second reaction. And this is just pine needles and pine shavings. And uh, here's your fire starter. So if you want to carry a couple of vials of these, a vial of one and a vial of the other, you can just spit in it. Just a drop of spit will make it react right away. And that's one of the things that a lot of videos didn't explain. You really need to use water as a catalyst if it's not working. Alright, so that's it. Peace.